Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're kind of talking about working on the... He's been emailing me Barbara Mandra. Yeah, I'm doing my readings all week. week. <laughs> all week. I was like, fucking inbox is full of Barbara Mandra. <laughs> Well, I figured I'd do computer. the Joe Strummer, you'd do the Barbara Mandrell, even Trey, right? Was <laughs> <laughs> right. she the, the, the sort of counterpoint to Joe Strummer in the States at the same time? She was the country Joe Strummer, she's widely known as that. <laughs> they were both uh, big talents. It's not unusual. <laughs> do that one again? I'll never play that. <laughs> Was too small. Uh, well, let me sing one because I haven't sung much. First of all, I'm going to sing one. <laughs> and then and then you sing one. So you'll follow me and then I'll follow you. Uh, okay. Well, I haven't thought of it yet, John. You can do one with just two chords in it. Just two chords? Right back at one chord. We can do that. Yeah, well, we do The Beat Goes On by Sonny and Cher. That's got one chord. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do something easy, don't worry. I don't know anything hard, actually. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> since you're a pretty forgiving audience, as you've demonstrated so far. <laughs> uh, Wynn Stewart, 1962 or something.
And this is a song that uh, Joseph Stalin wrote after he heard. Um, <laughs> probably mentioned Stalin, so I feel I'm like one Stalin. <laughs> one Stalin, one Stalin. Uh, Stalin uh, heard this record that Hank Williams had made called Oh No Joe, which was a fierce uh, diatribe attacking the Soviet leader for his foreign policy. And, uh, and he thought, what, what can I do? Uh, I'm the leader of a huge country. Uh, I should go to a little independent recording studio, write a song, and give it right back to Hank Williams. And this is the, this is the song he wrote. <laughs> silence, you fool, silence, silence. Ha, 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 ha. 